Hello, everyone. This is Friday, September 23rd. The time is 9 p.m. And I am making this video from Dartmouth side of the harbor because this is Friday night when this tornado, this hurricane is supposed to be at its worst. So they warned everybody not to go down to the waterfront, so I'm trying to obey the orders. And I'm across the harbor, but I want to show you how wild the trees are moving and shaking down there, look. It's picked up a lot in the last half hour. The bushes were just moving a little bit now. Now the trees are shaking. So far, I don't think our windows have rattled yet. But it is definitely a wild night out. And it's going to be very difficult to sleep tonight because who wants to be asleep and, uh, and, and maybe the roof is coming off your building or something, right? So you gotta, you got to be keeping an eye on things. So we'll see as the night wears on. And I don't want to be at, make it too boring because there's not a lot happening out there. It is dark. I'm trying to get where the street lights shine on the trees. And I am at a safe distance from the ocean. I'm not down by the water at all and I'm not in any danger whatsoever. So I'm still gonna get, get something for you folks to see as the results of this hurricane. Hopefully we don't lose our power tonight. I'm hoping that because if the street lights all go out, then you're not gonna be able to see anything then. So, okay, with that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off briefly and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, bye for now. I'm back again to continue the rest of this video. And I'm not gonna bother with an introduction again. It's just continuing on with the same video there. Anyways, there was a bunch of trees down and all kinds of uh, things and we still have no power in, in Halifax. So they're telling us power might be on by 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So that's still a quite a, a quite a power outage. Which will be Sunday night. Yeah, it'll be Sunday night. They're predicting before we get our power back. Now, a lot of areas were spared pretty good. There's not a lot of... Uh, things broken in a lot of areas. In some areas, the trees fell down, like this here area coming up, and there's a lot more yet. Get your phone up a little higher. We'll try to, to uh, do something. Uh, they wouldn't let me go out anywhere around the, it where I could have got good pictures of the hurricane because it was too dangerous. You, can, you couldn't, you could have to stay home. But we're driving up to Portland Street in Dartmouth. Can't cross the bridge yet because the winds are too high, still on the bridge. So. There's a tree, a big tree uprooted and leaned right up against somebody's house. And this stretch right here, there's a lot of these trees that were mixed among the wires and stuff and then a lot of branches broke off here. When we come, we come through earlier and I didn't do a video, I should have done it then, but I, we came back to, so hopefully it's, it's still showing a lot of things that happened here. branches and stuff, but the people are cleaning up the stuff now too, so it might From not. their yards. Yeah. There's a, 
a tree right there that came down on somebody's lawn and a whole bunch of uh, debris around the yard. Well, it sure looks like a fall day today with all the leaves that have fallen. Basically, got blown off. Yeah, they got blown off the tops of the tops of the trees. A lot of the leaves have thinned out a lot up there from the wind. People are thinking Tim Hortons open. They still closed up there. Oh yeah, uh, they're still closed. We're having a hard time to find a coffee place that's open today. We tried so many places. There's there's one. Tim Hortons that's open and the, and the lineup is like about a, a quarter of a kilometer long there, Brenda. There. And so it's, it was hopeless. We didn't want to stand that line for an hour or so. And we have no power at home, so we can't do anything when we get back home. Some of these uh, plant fixtures on the side of the road got a little bit messed up. And... So now we're driving down through Portland Street in downtown Dartmouth. Not too bad here. Usually I'm walking down here, but this is strange that they were driving. He's standing there with a, well, he's probably part of the city. I don't know what the water looks like down here. It's very have, choppy right now. Uh huh? It's very, very choppy. Yeah. We won't go that way, we'll go this way. It is rough, it's choppy, but. And all the construction cranes are still standing. That's good. That's always a good thing. No. Yeah, as far as we know, they're all still standing. Yeah, yeah. At least here you see a little bit of the water. All right, we'll put it over here and look out at the, at the, oh, look, tree down. the harbor. And there's some trees that fell down. The wind, you can see the wind is still blowing pretty good. The trees are, are waving back and forth. And the, yeah. Our wind gusts are and, uh, still around 50 clicks. Yeah. But not like it was in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> we woke up around midnight and our power was there out. there, too. Yeah. In that, on that oh, yeah, there's and... that big tree over there laying down, waiting out. That might get a glimpse of it. Yeah, it was hard to see from here. Dashboard, Dad. I know, it's hard to. That's why you should have brought your gimbal. Well, I should have, but I didn't. This is just done freehand with the camera because I didn't have my gimbal with me because I didn't come out to make a video. I came out to find a coffee, but I haven't been successful yet. <laughs> the one place it was open was it had a line so long I would have to stand there for an hour to get a coffee. We'll go back there maybe closer to supper time. Yeah, it might be better then. Maybe. Because I'm going to want to get out of the house again. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing to do at home. We can play a board game. Yeah, we can play a board game. Something okay. good, ladies. We got board games. We haven't got, done that for got, a long time, we have we? We got Scrabble. We got Monopoly. Monopoly is the longest game. It yeah. is. We got to have three players. We can't have two. Hint, hint. I got you. No fun with just two players. All right. Uh, people, Tim Hortons isn't open. They're hoping. They're hmm? getting in line. They see cars in the yard, so they're hoping. They're hoping. It's open. They're not open. They got no power yet. Now they might have been. Might be some workers. Maybe they're. Coming in to assess things and see if they That's, can get it up and running. There's some trees and stuff there that are down on these lawns, and the, a lot of leaves fell overnight. Go there, Nova Scotia. 
And there's trees down there that yeah, fall. There's a big one down there. Yeah, yeah that road's closed. Look at that mess down <laughs> that tree. You can't even get down that road. That guy's assessing the damage of that ceiling. Yep. The power. Uh, that's probably what he was doing. Yeah, so basically that's that's pretty much the situation there in Halifax. There's a lot of branches. Ooh, that one lost and a trees, tree. Trees, trees broken and trees, mostly trees. Trees broken and, and branches laying down and a lot of leaves come off the trees. Yeah, that's about it. I don't think it's, yeah, it's not a catastrophe, but it's quite a mess. It's gonna be a big cleanup yeah. for the next two or three days. And if we're lucky, maybe they'll get our power. I don't think oh, I want to. Oh, that's a tree right down across Ooh, the road. Oh, look at I this. I don't think I want to go through there. We're giving the choice now. Is it going to be too low? No, 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 but you got to go fast when you go through it. I know. <laughs> so don't fall while you're under it. Take All right, here we go, under the broken tree. <laughs> that was too close. I ain't coming back this way. <laughs> this is a mess up in here. That's why I said we're going to come up Pleasant Street. Yeah, okay. Well, it makes for a good video, at least. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool driving under that tree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're in an SUV. And, and you notice our hood's a different color from the last time you saw me doing a video in the car. Because this is our... New Our car. new new car. I'll just show you the inside of it here. It's really cool. Well, that's about it. Highway and didn't go back across there the we highway. Go. Yeah. Today was supposed to be the convoy, but it got de it got delayed. So yeah, you better let your yeah. people know that. I think I mentioned it last night, but in case I didn't, I thought I did. But yeah, it was <coughs> it's October the 15th. October the 15th. 15th now. Yeah, is, is when the convoy is going to be yeah. going now. Because we have no more storms. Yeah, because this uh, storm kind of. Uh, wrecked it so they're not having it today because there's a lot of the roads that are blocked and trees and stuff so they're not having it today so we'll have it on the 15th of october so we'll look forward to that otherwise we would have been out there doing this today yep i hope it isn't too bumpy for you to watch because i didn't bring my gimbal but i'm trying to hold it steady steady as I can. It might be, it might get a little bumpy. Oh, oh, I know it's going to be bumpy. I just hit a bump and it went up and down there about three inches each way. Yeah, that's about... Yeah, you want to look across the water again? Yeah, there's a, yeah, all right, a lot of the stores are closed today too because there's no power, they got no power in the store and unless they had a backup generator, they, they're not open. I'm going to swing by the convenience store that we do our laundry. Okay. I'm just going to ask them if the if we're able to do laundry. I can get a coffee there. Yeah, but wait until we can get Tinnies. We'll go get Tinnies later on. All right. So that's about where I'm going to end this bumpy video. If I find anything else to do, I'll add it. If not, I'll, that will be it. One way or the other, I'll sign off later because I might, I might want to add something to it, okay? Okay, be back after a bit. Driving around Halifax a little bit today to see what a lot of trees down to here. see what kind of damage is, is done here. 
a lot of trees here. Look, we'll get a good look at some of the stuff that's happened here. This is one of my areas that I drive in. Oh, uh, yeah. I would be nice and I will let this pedestrian go across. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oops. You might be fine still. Well, I have to. Might, I'll get you on the blanket. Oh, little bar open. Yeah. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot about the radio being. Yeah. There. Then they will. I'll be in trouble with copyright <clears throat> for that. Yeah. I get him. I get him to block that little spot out. You got to be so careful with with the copyright issues. You do. North end of Halifax. It's about the border of the north end. Well, we don't drive around here that often, but today we're driving. This is Sunday morning, and a lot of people have, still have no power. Hours came on in the night last night, so we're able to get everything all charged up again and get up this morning. And Decided to go out and try for our coffee today. We weren't very successful yesterday. <laughs> we tried, but <coughs> we never got one. Today it wasn't too bad. Not too bad, right? Not too bad in this part of the city, no. We see a few, the odd one thing. Big, one big tree down. One tree down. was down, but. It's yeah. right there. Yeah. There's a tree down on that corner, if you can see it. Yeah. Okay. It depends on where you are, what part of the city you're in. Yeah, let's go up to the residential streets. Yeah, because they are usually hit worse. The residential streets are, are usually get more tree damage than they do down here because there's a lot of uh, trees have been removed because of the businesses and stuff. But on the residential ones, those trees have been there for a century and, uh, and they're easy to blow down. And they're hanging right among the wires and all that stuff. You've probably seen me doing walking videos up through here because this is, I've walked this area before. Yeah, the light works here. <laughs> oh yeah, well, the traffic lights are working here, so that means they got power in this this area. That means I have to wait. Yeah. There's pockets now. There's like I say, there's probably half of the half of the city, more than half of Halifax, got power back now. Yeah. Dartmouth has still got quite a bit yeah, out of Yeah, Dartmouth is on a different system over there. They're, they're, I think it's more fragile over in Dartmouth than it is in Halifax. Yeah. It's easily easily broken, but Halifax, we looked, I looked across the water there last night, it was all lit up, I didn't see any. But there are pockets of no power. that snap to slow down the yeah the wires are hanging Willow Street there I saw that tree down I want to see what part of the road it's actually down on oh yeah there's some there's some uh, there's some stuff down on this tree this is one of my major streets I drive down when I'm delivering. Oh yeah, look, look at the piles of debris. Right, so between here... Oh, this is great, look down here. It's not great for the people that live here, no. but for making my video, I am going to see I some... I will drive down a little Yeah, we might gotta... walk down and have a look at it. You want to do that? Yeah. We'll stop right here. Alright. I haven't got my gimbal with me, so this is freehand. So if it's a little bumpy, bear with me. Okay. 
bring my phone with me just in case we're about to call. Yeah, we're just gonna get out and walk down there. Look at this, this willow tree suffered bad. Yeah, this is one of my roads that I usually travel on too. Mm -hmm. To get from here down to the Bricula and Roby. Mm -hmm. Hope nobody's cars get squashed. Don't look like it. Mm -hmm. These people are gonna be without power for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is quite the mess down here. I'm doing Gimbal this freehand, so I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good for no gimbal. It's it's not too shaky. Yeah. Can't go past here though. Yeah. Locked yeah. Off. This is it. Well, we can look at this area and then we'll go back up. Look at the size of that tree that fell. Luckily, it fell that way. Yeah. And not towards and, the house. And not the other way. Man, this is bad. Yeah. The cars can't even get through here. No, oh, there's two trees. Oh, no, there's, oh, yeah. that one's down, too. That one's right across the wires. Oh, it's leaning up against this house here. Mm-mm, yeah. Yeah, that tree did hit that house. Morning. Wow. Morning. This is one of my routes I usually travel down with my truck. Yeah. So wow, you guys got road. it bad here. Well, I'll tell you the kicker. Back in the spring, the head, the head arborist for the city was by, and he said, um, be okay if we cut that one down because that one it was a big uh, main branch that okay. sheared off in Dorian and wound up in between those two big wires yeah yeah and so I said sure no problem and I said what about that one there and this one here and he said oh they look okay and he walked over and, and he walked back towards me and went that one's going too <laughs> and they were gonna take this one and of course two out of the three fell Mm -hmm. So one of my projects will be to follow up with the city and just say, okay, this is what we were told. Yes. Why was this not done? Well, yeah. Wait until something happens and then... then. Yeah. There isn't no car underneath there, is there? No. Oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. No. I always park my vehicle at the back. To make sure. To make sure, because yeah. look where they landed. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. That would have punctured... I always back in that would have punctured the, the, the hood. window and everything. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, would have been a mess. Yeah. Yeah, I drive I drive a cute truck and I use I use this road and I do a lot of deliveries down here and I wanted to just see what damage is in my area yeah. that I deliver in. I was just actually talking to um, the outage center and uh, they were they were great because I they said, Well, you know, estimated is probably Tuesday and I said, Well, I said, uh, it's actually blocking, it's over the entrance to my office. So I said, I can't see patients. So therefore, it's a bit of a hazard. So I think that kind of, oh. Pushed it a little bit yeah. closer, yeah. yeah. You're, a, you're a doctor? Yeah. 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 Okay. What's your, what's your field? Sports chiropractic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So as soon as, and I don't like to, I don't like to pull the DR card. I really don't. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have to. But yeah. Yeah. So I, I just kind of mentioned it in passing and she picked up on it right away. Okay, that was part of Willow Street. Now we're gonna continue on westward on Willow Street. Talking to one of the fellows living in the neighborhood there and he's telling us all about the different hurricanes that happened here and the trees falling over. down Dublin Street and see what happened down here. That tree took a beating. Whoa, look at that one. And there's branches on the side right there. 
Everywhere you go, you see it's something that's that's fallen. Oxford. See what's happening over on this end of this area. Yeah. We're still in the north end. We're just driving around in the north end here. Yeah, there's a lot of trees in these residential areas that they got, they probably got hit the hardest. Yep. There's something else you see a lot of, leaning poles. <laughs> Halifax yep. is full of leaning poles. You can see we got like a lot of wires here. Most cities haven't got this many heavy wires hanging off all the poles. And over time, they pull the poles over. There's a lot of leaning poles in this city. And there's some more trees down. trees that are overhanging. They're great in the summer. They provide a lot of shade <laughs> yep. and they keep things cool. I can see why the people love to have the trees, but you can see they're growing right up through the wires. Oh, there's one down in there too. I'm going to pull in here. Where is it? It's back there on that side street. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Can we park here? I'm going to. Are we, no, we're in the turning lane. No, turning lane starts up there. I guess we could get out briefly. As long as I'm not in a bus lane. Yeah. Making sure there's no bus lane here. Why don't you do this quickly? Yeah. I'm not going down the street all the way. I just want to see. All right. We're going to just get out quickly and look the situation over. There's a lot of debris here. It's not that far down. Oh yeah. And look and look at the, the streets even where there's no trees or branches and everywhere you look, there's debris and branches and, and here's one really bad. That spot up here with the tree rail across the road. Wow. And the wires are down too. So we won't get too close because the wires are down. Wow, not good, not good. Not good at all. These these are great, great residential streets. There's lots of shade from the trees. Oh, I loved it in the summer. I've walked by here doing residential videos in the summer, and it was so good. But but they're really risky because when you get a hurricane, which is not hard to get in Halifax, that's the first thing that happens. The trees are all down on stuff. back on again and I'll probably sign off on this last no, major down last piece of video as we're going to be heading back over to our home in Dartmouth but that gives you a pretty good picture of the the, the damage the in, tree down over there. 
and devastation on, on, on the side streets over here. Yeah, another one down over there. I'm gonna go around the block. All right. We're gonna go up that road. This is my wife's uh, domain over here. She knows she knows the North End good from doing deliveries here all the time. She knows it better than I do. I know it pretty good, but she's. I want to come and check my area so I know what I'm dealing with. What, what you're going to face? <laughs> if I have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, you're going to face a, a lot of carnage on the streets over here. Yep. It's better to know ahead of time than coming out and yeah. then realize I'm going down a yeah. street and I can't get through it. So we're going up uh, North Street at the moment. Young Street, no. No, right? this is um, Bears Road. Bears Road, there we go. Now we're get, turning on to Conley. I get it after a while, yeah, Bears Road. So you can see there's some branches down here too. Anywhere where they had these big trees that would overhang the street, there's always that danger of in a hurricane and being blown down. And this is one of my streets I deliver on to mm -hmm. sometimes. That tree was on the next street. Next street up. Yeah, there's a lot of tree damage over here. Look at this right here. Yeah, there's a lot of tree damage here. Can we go down through there? Oh, yeah. Nice and slowly. I was looking that way first. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. Nice and slowly. People are cleaning up their yards. Yeah, trying to tidy up from all the mess up there. Just take my time. There's lots of speed bumps here. <laughs> <laughs> this tree's right up against the house. On that side. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh look at this one. Let me put my window down here so I can get a better look. Okay, we're back to Oxford Street. We're gonna head down, kind of hit pointer towards home now. Head back towards Bears Road and then Young Street, go home. Yep. Gotta go home. So I'll uh, leave it at that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't it wasn't that we're happy to see all this wreckage, but I, I still hope you enjoyed the video and you got to see what real damage a hurricane can do when it passes through where there's old trees and stuff. It's like Halifax, that's a big problem because Halifax is an old city and there's a lot of trees, a lot of old trees here. And we are prone to getting hurricanes here. So that makes for a bad, a bad mix with all the old trees growing right up through the wires and, and then hurricanes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, push that like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you'll become a subscriber. That'd be really great. If you are a subscriber, my thanks again to you for subscribing. And with that, I just want to say take care, be safe, and we'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.